Hello and welcome students to your English class. Before we begin today's class, I have a small warm-up game for you. I want you to help this little Robin find his delicious supper. I'll give you 10 seconds to complete this task. So ready? Yes. Okay, I think you are done. Yes, you have helped the robin find his supper. Now, a little more. This is a different game. It's called Jumble. I want you to unscrabble this word for me. Okay? I think you are in need of a hint. And the hint is not meant to be known. I repeat. Not meant to be known. If this doesn't help you, I have another hint. Confidential. The word means confidential. If you haven't found it yet, it also means shh. I think by now you have guessed what the word is. Yes, it means secret. Let us try another one. It will be a little easier than this one. Okay? I think this is what you have got. This is right. This is also right. But this is not what I am looking for. We will check out the hint. The hint says, a piece of ground adjoining a house in which grass, flowers and shrubs may be grown. I repeat, it is a piece of ground adjoining a house in which grass, flowers and shrubs may be grown. I think you all must have guessed it. Yes, it's the garden. So what did we get? We get the words secret garden. Yes, my dear children, today our lesson is The Secret Garden by Francis H. Burnett. A little introduction to the author, Francis. She was born on 24th November 1849. She was a British American novelist and a playwright. Why two nationalities? Well, she was born British, but she spent most of her life in America. She is best known for her children novels, which includes The Secret Garden. So now a brief introduction to the story The Secret Garden. The story is about a small 10 year old girl called Mary Lennox. Well, she was not a very fortunate child because she lost her parents at a very young age. She was born in India, but later her uncle took her back to Yorkshire, England. In England, she had heard about the stories of a secret garden, where this garden is surrounded by walls and no one has entered this garden for the past 10 years. Now, will she find this garden or will she not? And who will help her? In this adventure of hers is what we will find out through this lesson, The Secret Garden. I request you to turn to page number 84. Mary heard a chirp and a twitter and when she looked at the bare flower garden bed, at her left side there was a robin hopping about. This is a robin. This is a picture of a robin. A robin is a small migratory songbird. It looks very beautiful, no? With the orange color chest. You do remember me, she cried out. You do. You are prettier than anything else in the world. The robin allowed her to draw closer and closer to him and bend down and talk and try to make small, try to make something like Robin sounds. As the robin hopped about, 
she saw him hop over a small pile of freshly turned up earth. He stopped on it to look for a worm. The earth had been dug up by a dog who had made quite a deep hole. What does Mary say here? She says, you do remember me, she cried out. You are prettier than anything else in the world. Now whom does Mary refer to? Yes, she refers to the robin. She says that it is the prettiest thing that she has seen in the world. He, the robin does look very pretty. The robin allowed her to draw closer and closer to him and bend down and talk and try to make something like robin sounds. Now this paragraph tells us about the relationship between the robin and Mary. It is quite usual for a human being to be so friendly with a bird. If you look around us, the birds fly away the moment they see humans. They are very scared of us. But in this case, it was a rare friendship, a rare bond where the robin let Mary come very close to him. She had to bend down and she could speak to him. So that was the bond, the friendship and the relationship they shared together. It was a very unusual friendship. Here, bare flower bed means patch of garden without any plants or flowers. Turned up means dug up. As the robin hopped about, she saw him hop over a small pile of freshly turned up earth. He stopped on it to look for a worm. The earth had been dug up by a dog who had made quite a deep hole. Here, the robin draws Mary's attention to a hole that was dug up by a dog. And this robin stopped over that freshly dug up earth and was looking for a worm, that is his food. Now, what does Mary see on, uh, in this hole is what we will find out. Mary looked at it and saw something buried in the soil. It was something like a ring of rusty iron or brass and when the robin flew up into a tree nearby, she put out her hand and picked the ring up. It was an old key which looked as if it had been buried a long time. Mary stood up and looked at it with an almost frightened face as it hung from her finger. Perhaps it has been buried for ten years, she said in a whisper. Perhaps it is the key to the garden. She looked at the key quite a long time. She thought that if it was the key to the garden, to the closed garden, and she could find out where the door was, she could open it and see what was inside the walls. She put the key in her pocket and went back home. Now, as the robin drew Mary's attention to the hole, what did Mary see? She could see that something was buried in the soil. What was it looking like? It was looking like a rusty iron or brass. What do you mean by iron or brass? Iron or brass is a uh, metal, kind of a metal. It was a ring. See, I have a ring with a key here, but it is not rusty. So this is the ring and if it is rusty, um, it is all brownish in color. So it is the ring with a key. This is what Mary sees in the hole. And then why does it become rusty? It becomes rusty because it has not been used for a long time and when moisture comes in contact with iron, it becomes rusty. So this is what the robin tried to draw Mary's attention to, towards the key, the hidden key that was not known to anyone for the past 10 years. Mary stood up and looked at it with an almost frightened face. She found the key 
And when she found the key, she had a frightened face. Why was it so? Why did she feel scared looking at the old rusty key? Then she says to herself that it could be the key to the secret garden. But why did she have to feel scared? Well, since it was a secret kept away from humans, untouched, unknown and uh, undiscovered for so many years, she felt frightened that she was the discoverer or she was the first person to find the key after such a long time. She was scared because she was a small girl. She was only 10 years old. So, she felt scared looking at that key. Now, after she has found the key, what goes on into her mind? What next will she think of? Yes, she will think that she has to discover where the door is to the secret garden. Will she be able to reach that garden? Will she be able to enter the garden? Who will lead her to that secret place? Is what we will find. The next day, Mary took her skipping rope and skipped round all the gardens and round the orchard. What is an orchard? An orchard is a piece of land planted with fruit trees. Here I have an apple orchard. That means this is a Land where apples are grown. It is not only apples. You can have lime, oranges, lemons. So many fruits are grown on a piece of land that we call as an orchard. She stopped to rest a while and there was the robin again. Swaying on a long branch of ivy. He had followed her and he greeted her with a chirp. What is an ivy? An ivy is a type of climbing plant. This is a picture of the ivy. You showed me where the key was yesterday. She said, show me the door today. But I don't believe you know. The robin flew from his swinging spry of ivy onto the top of the wall and he opened his beak and sang a loud, loudly trill. Spry here means a branch. Trill means a high-pitched song. So what does Mary say here? You showed me where the key was yesterday. Show me the door today. To whom does she say this to? She says this to the robin. But she also says something else. But I don't believe you know. By saying this, she is doubting the ability of the robin. She wants the robin to show her the door, but she has used a negative statement so that the robin will uh, be forced or will be comply, uh, will have to comply to the request that Mary has given by showing her the door. She was happy that she found the key yesterday and today she is eagerly waiting to find the door. So she has no one else to ask for it. So she just simply places her request to the robin who listens to her carefully. So what does the robin do? As soon as he heard the words, but I don't believe you know, what does the robin do? He flies down from the top of the wall he was, where was he sitting? He was sitting on the branch of the ivy. And from there he flies down. And what does he do? He opens he, his beak and he sings a loud, lovely song. It's a high pitched song, a trill. So with the help of this trill or this song, what happens? We just find out. A little gust of wind rushed down the path. And it was stronger than usual. What do you mean by gust? It's a strong wind. It's a sudden strong wind. When we move on the road, a sudden wind comes and we move aside because some dust particles come and hit our eyes. 
It was strong enough to wave the branches of the trees and sway the trailing ivy hanging from the wall. What do you mean by trailing? Here, growing downwards and hanging in thin branches. So you can see the ivy has covered this entire wall and only the, uh, the space is left only for a window. Here it is a window. But you can imagine according to the story what was there behind the hanging ivy. Suddenly the gust of wind swung aside some loose ivy and Mary saw something under it. A round knob which had been covered by the leaves hanging over it. It was the knob of a door. What do you mean by knob? Knob is a handle of the door. She put her hands under the leaves and began to pull and push them aside. The ivy hung thickly like a loose and swinging curtain. You can see this is almost like a curtain hanging. So you can imagine if this ivy was uh, covering the part where the window is and because of the wind it swayed and she could see the door knob in that place. The robin kept singing and twittering away and tilting his head on one side as if it were as excited as she was. What was this under her hands which was square and made of iron? It was the lock of the door which, which had been closed for ten years. She put her hand in her pocket, drew out the key and found that it fitted the keyhole. She put the key in and turned it. It took two hands to do it, but it turned. And then she took a long breath and looked behind her up the long walk to see if anyone was coming. No one was coming. No one ever did come, it seemed. And she took another long breath and held back the swing curtain of ivy and pushed back the door which opened slowly. Now, as soon as she found the door knob, her heart started to beat rapidly, that is thump. When does your heart beat rapidly? Uh, mostly when uh, our teacher gives the answer script after the examination, when your teacher gives you the answer script, your heart also beats rapidly. You can hear your own heart beat. Dub, 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 dub. Because you are scared, you are frightened. Same situation Mary is feeling. So Mary's heart began to thump and her hands began to shake a little. It was trembling. When you are receiving your answer script from your teacher, also your hands tremble because you are scared. What will be the result? In her delight and excitement, delight here means great pleasure. Excitement means eager. So, she was eager. She was eager to know that she has found the door. And delight is, it brings her a pleasure that she has discovered this secret door. So, what does the robin keep doing? The robin keeps singing. And he keeps singing and he is as excited as her that she has found the door to the secret garden which was closed for past 10 years. Then after she has found the door, she finds the keyhole and she puts the key and turns the key. Then what happens? Before entering the door, she looks back to see if anyone was coming. Why does she do this? As you know that it is a secret place which has not been discovered or which has not been uh, seen by any public for the past seven years. So she was taking all her precaution because she is a small child and it is not her parents home, it is her uncle's home and if anything goes wrong she has no parents to support her or look after her. So that is why she was very careful before entering the garden. 
to see if anyone was following her or if she was being watched by somebody unknown so these were the precautions she took before entering the secret garden and now what will happen after she enters the garden does she see a beautiful garden or is it a mysterious garden all this we will know only in the next video until then we will keep the uh, we will keep the excitement going so for your assignment you have to write a paragraph of about 100 words describing how you kept a secret so till then take care and keep safe